Hey everyone, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Okay, so I thought it would be fun to do a video where I just share with you guys what I got for Christmas. I always really love watching these types of videos because I like to see what other people get and what they enjoy as gifts. I also kind of can't believe that Christmas is over already. It seems like it like came and went <laughs> really fast this year. So I think I have everything right here. Let me show you the cookbooks that I got. Okay, so it's no secret, I always love getting cookbooks <laughs> for Christmas. So I actually got three this year. So the first one that I got was the Modern Bistro Cookbook. This is an America's Test Kitchen cookbook. And by the way, I'm sharing what I got from Adam and, and his side of the family. So I got this Modern Bistro Cookbook by America's Test Kitchen. Uh, this looked really interesting and you guys know I love all of the America's Test Kitchen cookbooks and in fact, I made a variation of this quiche Lorraine for breakfast this morning and it was really good. I wanted something that was a little like lower in calories than this version so I kind of did some googling and some substitutions but uh, either way there's like some really good appetizers and salads and fish recipes in here so I'm looking forward to trying more of those recipes. And then I also got the uh, See You on Sunday cookbook by Sam Sifton. I actually looked through this one uh, yesterday when we were at Adam's mom's house and it actually has very many recipes that I want to try. You know, I need more cookbooks like I need a hole in my head, but I really do use my cookbooks. I reference them all the time. I cook new things out of them all the time. So I sort of feel like it's one of those things that is a collection for me, but I still do utilize them. So, you know, it's that's how I justify it anyway, but I really enjoy um, even just reading and collecting cookbooks and I like making things out of them as well. So there's actually uh, a recipe I bookmarked in here because I think I might have almost all of the things to make um, make it this week and it's the fish tacos recipe. It looks really, really delicious. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that Kira is now eating a pescatarian diet and so I'm trying to find more fish recipes that the whole family <laughs> will like. Um, the last cookbook I got is the America's Test Kitchen, the complete one pot cookbook. One thing I will say about America's Test Kitchen is that if you have multiple cookbooks of theirs, sometimes there are recipes that are duplicated across cookbooks. Um, but for the most part, I don't really mind that because it's not necessarily the whole cookbook, it's just a few recipes here and there. And I really like this one because it splits it out into different types of cooking. Um, so for example, for each section of the cookbook, it will have different, you know, one pot applications. So like skillet, sheet pan, casserole dish, Dutch oven, roasting pan, and then I really like that it has slow cooker and instant pot uh, recipes as well. So definitely looking forward to trying some recipes out of that. And then there was another book that I put on my Christmas list. This one is by, I think her, I think she goes by Cass. Um, her channel here on YouTube is Clutterbug. She has like a huge channel. And as I was kind of perusing Amazon a few months ago, I saw that she had a book. It says Cluttered Mess to Organize Success. Um, I always say I am like an aspiring organized person. Like I really try to be an organized person, but I'm actually like a little bit messy. <laughs> It's just like my nature. And so I thought that this book might have some helpful tips. Um, it kind of looks like an interactive book. Like maybe there's some places for you to like fill things out in here. There's stuff in here that I probably won't use like workout log and food log and things like that just because I do that on my phone. Um, but anyway, I'm looking forward to reading this and I got the, or I asked for the spiral bound one on purpose so it would be easy to, you know, flip the covers around and write in. Okay, so I'm all, I have also begun collecting last year the um, Lennox Christmas dishes. I think the pattern is called Happy Holly Days. So I showed you guys that in my Vlogmas video when I got those out of the basement and we actually have been using the dishes. We've been using some of the plates for dinners and then when we had our Christmas Eve party the other day and yesterday for Christmas, I actually used some of the serving dishes. So I was excited to do that. But I figured I would put a few things on my Christmas list um, from 
this collection because it is obviously easy things for people to order. And let me know, does your, Milo is playing. <laughs> let me know, does your family exchange Christmas lists? Um, in my family, we never really did that much as adults, but Adam's family is very like, we need lists, we need Christmas lists. And so I always struggle with trying to make one every year. I totally get it for kids because, you know, kids have certain things that they want and certain toys and games and, and all that kind of stuff. But that was one thing I had to start doing when I joined Adam's family was making a Christmas list <laughs> every year. So, um, this is a, I think it's called a treat dish. Yeah, happy holiday, holidays snowman treat dish. And I just thought it was. Isn't it funny when dogs play, they sound like super vicious, but then their tails are wagging here. Anyway, so this is just a little snowman treat dish. I assume you could put candy on it or, you know, if you made like holiday treats or something like that. It's just, I don't know, it's just very cute. So I think, I cannot remember exactly, but I think Adam's aunt got that for me. Um, and then I also got the Happy Holidays Snowman Light Up figurine, which it actually came with batteries, which is kind of impressive, right? Um, I just thought that was so cute and it actually kind of matches with the cookie jar that I have. So anyway, I love that he has the little cardinal on his hand. That cardinals always remind me of my grandma on my mom's side. She always loved cardinals and collected like different cardinal stuff. Um, so yeah, that's cute. I'm. Um, it's always nice to get like Christmas decorations for Christmas, but then I'm like, oh well. I guess I could put it out for a few more weeks because I'm not gonna put my tree away yet. But thought that was really awesome and cute. Okay, and then the last thing I got from this collection is the sleigh candy dish. Um, I just thought this was so cute. And I normally keep like a Christmas themed candy dish on my front table and right now it's just a mason jar. <laughs> So I'll probably actually go switch it out for this because I have some Hershey Kisses in there. Uh, but anyway, I just thought that was really cute and it obviously goes with the, the Happy Holidays theme. So those are all the things I got from that collection. Okay, and then I'll show you what Adam got me. So he filled my stocking with a couple of things. He said he ordered me some candy, but it's not here yet. So I guess so we'll have to wait and see what that is. Um, he got me this... Uh, sort of like electronics organization case, which I kind of have one like this already, but this one's actually a lot better. It has more useful slots for the stuff that I have. Um, but he got this for me to use when I travel for work for all of like my cords and chargers and headphones and things like that. So I thought that was super thoughtful of him. This was all the stuff in my stocking. And then this was also in my stocking. We always joke about this. I survived another meeting that could have been an email. <laughs> coffee mug so I told him I was gonna so I told him I was gonna just have this as I'm on my zoom meetings drinking my coffee during a meeting no I'm just kidding <laughs> and so this was the last thing that was in my stocking which I actually thought was really thoughtful and it's a travel jewelry case so I just shared a video where I did like a huge earring organization <laughs> in my bedroom and I got one of these I'm I'm so sorry for my dogs running around and playing. Um, I actually got a free one of these from Nickel and Suede when I placed an order with them. However, the one that they... However, the one that they sent me for free, I actually don't like as well as this one. You can see that this one has like a, f a flip up piece right here where you can put your stud earrings in there and then it still has the place where you can hang your earrings and your necklaces um, and then it has more little slots down here for all of your you know earrings and I don't really travel with like other rings and, and things like that but I think this will still be super useful um, and I like it more than the one that I got for free too because number one the zipper works way better the other one kind of catches and number two this one's a lot thinner so I feel like it'll fit in my suitcase a lot better so I thought that was really thoughtful of him and then the last thing he got me were diamond earrings from Hellsberg. I was very surprised and I shouldn't say I was surprised because like I have been hinting throughout the year that he should get me diamond earrings for Christmas. <laughs> I know I'm very subtle. Um, but I've never really had a, a nice pair. Now I had a pair of, um, 
tinier diamond earrings that he bought me like years and years ago um, but these were kind of the ones that I had been hinting at so I can kind of see if you can get a close-up of them but they're three-quarter carat each uh, diamond with yellow gold which is my favorite I was actually wearing them up until this morning when I took them out and exchanged them for these but I thought I would show you guys those and yes he I think definitely feels like he won Christmas this year <laughs> with the diamond earrings in fact he was like couldn't even wait for me to like open them up the kids were like still sleeping and he's like i want you to open your present so um he also got the ones that have the screw on posts so that they won't fall out um you actually have to screw them on and they stay like very securely on your ears so i thought that was really nice too because i am prone to losing things and obviously it would not be a what i got for christmas video if i didn't also tell you what i got for adam <laughs> um i can't really tell you what i got the kids because i got them a lot of things and i can't remember all of them right now so anyway i got adam uh the lighthouse lego which i think i shared with you guys like in the last uh week's weekend prep video um so he was excited for that he loves putting together legos yes he is an adult that loves legos but anyway um i also got him a holster for one of his guns i know nothing about it it was just on his list and so i ordered it for him he was happy about that and then i got him like this socket wrench thing on amazon i'm not quite sure if it's gonna be any good yet it just like showed up in my recommended and i was like oh that looks interesting we'll see if he can use it and then the big gift that i got him was tickets to see the chiefs uh next week so it's the chiefs broncos game at home on new year's day and so we're gonna go down there and watch the game he's very excited for that because he um actually i don't think we've been to see a chiefs game since before covid and we normally always go every year at least to one game um he's a big Chiefs fan and some of his dad's family is from Kansas City so that's kind of what their connection is to that and why all of his family is like Chiefs and Royals fans um so I'm excited for that I actually got pretty good seats and I was able to actually use I don't know what my dog is doing I was actually able to use uh, a lot of my Marriott points <laughs> <laughs> from traveling so much for work to book us a hotel room yeah so it'll be fun to go down there and the kids are gonna go with us so yeah it'll be fun and um that was his kind of like big gift for me so anyway it was a good christmas uh i want to know uh obviously what you guys got for christmas and how your christmas went obviously it's not just about the gifts it's about spending time with family as well i always look forward to this time of year just because we're all usually off work and the kids are off school and we kind of just get to spend a week or two at home like all hanging out together and relaxing and that's something that we don't get to do very often all together so yeah um thank you guys for watching and i will see you back tomorrow for another video bye